Alright, so what I'm going to do today is kind of try and help you out get uh, a separate hard drive set up uh, for your LanCast machine. Uh, I've seen a lot of people have problems with it and I was able to at least get it figured out. I didn't see much documentation on it, so i uh, just kind of going to walk you through. So I have LanCast set up on Ubuntu uh, through Proxmox, but just download Ubuntu uh, anyway and uh, set it up and then... Uh, I use this uh, YouTube video by Plexus MC uh, to set up my LAN cache. It's super simple. He uh, created a script for it that's on GitHub, and I'll link both this video and his script. Uh, he walks you through how to install all of it. But um, the, like I said, the biggest thing I had was there wasn't a, uh, any documentation specifically, and I just had some confusion, I guess, on how to get my other hard drive set up because my main drive is uh, for uh, Ubuntu and then the secondary drive is uh, for the game storage which Landcache uh, actually tells you you should use a second drive so anyways follow this uh, to get set up and then I can help you with the hard drive situation so um, once you're in Ubuntu once you get everything set up you can go to disks you're going to go to your secondary disk, go to settings, uh, edit mount options. You're going to shut this off and mount at system startup. And then you're going to take this mount point. You can change it. I changed mine to slash mount slash SSD cache. Um, you can change it to whatever you want. Just make it something easy. Uh, at first, it'll probably show up as something long like this. But if you make it something easier, way easier to type in the .env file. So... Uh, get that part set up and then you'll be ready to go. So once you um, got that figured out, you're going to go sudo sudo. Once you're into the password, you're going to do cd slash bar, whoops, slash lib, hit enter. Oh, and then you want to do cd land cache. My bad. And then nano space dot env. Once you're in that env file, um, your cache root. So when you watch on Plexus MC on that video, it says like dot slash land cache. Um, for me, I assumed that it should be dot slash mount slash SSD cache. Uh, that's not the case. So get rid of that dot. That's pretty much what screws it most up. If you leave it at dot slash land cache, it'll just save it to the main drive. So cache root equals slash mount slash SSD cache, just like how I had set on my disk for the um, mount point. See how it says mounted at slash mount slash SSD cache? That's going to be the same way you want it on there. Um, and then the rest of the instructions just do the same, follow the Plexus MC, but uh, that was the biggest hiccup I found. So I hope hope that helps you out. Give uh, Plexus MC a uh, a thumbs up that worked flawlessly you install curl and then just run his script and walk you through everything uh, I would get this hard drive stuff figured out first and then go through because it'll bring you straight to the .env file and uh, get it set up for you so uh, feel free to leave a comment if you have any other questions and uh, once you do see or once you get this file um, all figured out um, and saved, um, then his script will run you through a few things. Uh, you'll have to obviously point your um, machines to be the DNS of this machine uh, in order for the cache in to work. And then um, once you do actually start getting uh, stuff running through there, you'll see that the size used on your slash mount slash SSD cache or whatever you call it will start being utilized and that's basically the best way to check otherwise also as soon as you save it it'll show a cache and a logs file on that disk so that's how you'll know if it's ready to go um, it'll show cache and logs on that disk and then once it's actually working through you'll see this uh, drive actually being utilized and, and you can watch your resources and see stuff going through the network history so like I said any questions feel free to comment and that's all I got